Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm doing your weekly oracle card guidance, but I'm doing it a little bit differently uh, because I had to run some errands and I didn't have much time available and my neighbor was drilling. <laughs> and so it was. It's, I've decided to do it in my car. There is some background noise that you will hear, but I hope it will not be too distracting. So I'm going to be using um, this deck of cards. It's called the Soulful Woman. Uh, car, uh, guidance cards and it's by Shushan uh, Movisian and Gemma Summers. I'm sorry I always I'm sure I'm butchering that name I haven't figured out how to say how to uh, um, say it out loud <laughs> but um, yeah so we're gonna be using this deck and I'm gonna be doing three uh, options once again so please go ahead and make a selection between one and three and um, you can also choose like number one for relationships number two for kind of work or career stuff or money and um, three just for general or for soul related um, spirit related matters so uh, you can do it any way you like these messages are basically uh, brought to you every week and the, I will choose a card but I will also channel a message for you and so you'll be able to get you know a fair amount uh, of info from this and if it doesn't resonate well just move on <laughs> obviously it's not for you uh, sometimes if it doesn't resonate it also means that you're not ready to hear what's being said uh, but in that case yeah simply just move on all right so I'm gonna give these cards a shuffle and I'm going to start with the number one Okay, so here's the cards once again and so for those of you who've chosen the option number one I'm gonna just shuffle the cards right here some passerbys probably think I'm crazy <laughs> okay so for those of you who've chosen option number one what is it that you need to hear today okay this feels right and we have here Path awareness, it's the number 30. If I sincerely ask, I'm always guided back to the right path for me and to my central purpose. The message that, that's coming through is that it's important for you to understand where you're going to and what you're doing right now. And if you're not actually on your path to guide you back. And the best indicator for that are your emotions. Your emotions, whether you're frustrated, whether you're angry, whether you're feeling balanced, or whether you're feeling at peace, all these things will tell you, will, is, it's, it's like a kind of um, thermometer explain to you how far off you've gone from where you need to be. And the other message I'm hearing, which is related to this, is that by understanding your emotions, by understanding where your anger or your sadness or your whatever emotion that you're having comes from, you will be able to go back and pinpoint where your your situation is at a, a state of unease. And once you recognize your state of unease or where it comes from, you can do something to rectify that, you can do something to balance that or to just simply deal with the situation as it is and this card here is basically saying to me you need to be able to work with that part of you which requires guidance which requires some kind of um, help or on some where you need some kind of assistance to come back into your path so that you can go on in the way that you you're going on right now and so path awareness it's what it speaks of is simply being aware that you're on a path and that you're headed somewhere and having a direction having uh, knowing where you're headed to if you just let yourself meander along you could be subject to all kinds of influences and, and distractions which are not really necessarily going to be helping you along your path so set some goals I feel like I say this so often on this channel um, it feels like some of these messages are just about that and it's it's really like set some goals think about where you're headed to and how you're going to get there and then walk along that path you know set a path for yourself set a journey set an end goal and so you know where you're headed to and be aware when you stray from your path and the way in which you'll be aware is by managing your emotions or checking on your emotions seeing how what kind of um, feelings come up for you and why you feel a certain way and very often when you are straying from your path you will feel a degree of resistance you know you'll feel yourself being pulled away from something um, you'll feel frustrated because you're not on your path you'll feel resentful because you are not paying attention to yourself and you're paying attention to something else and th this card here is basically saying that 
if you ask, you will be guided back to your central purpose. So asking is as simple as just closing your eyes and saying, please guide me back to my central purpose or, you know, praying in whichever way you pray, or you might want to light a candle and, and set an intention, or you might pick up a stone and, and infuse it with a certain power or that intention of um, returning back onto your central, to, to, to your central purpose or to your path. So uh, is what I actually want to say. And you can do this in a myriad of ways. You could do it in a meditation uh, or in some kind of visualization. And what they're saying is that it's as simple as that. It's as simple as saying, okay, I, I've come off my path and how do I get back on it? And for those of you who are on your path and you are vigilantly uh, staying on your path and aware and quite conscious, you're living your lives as conscious beings. Well, this is an affirmation of your life and the way you're going ahead and it's it's also saying then well done to you for actually doing that well done for um for staying in your path and staying vigilant and paying attention well well done for actually um being in the moment and uh simply feeling as you're going along observing as you're going along as opposed to getting kind of sucked into a certain emotion or sucked into a kind some kind of drama or, or something like this okay so that is it for that option uh, number one for those of you who've chosen that option there and I'm just going to uh, adjust this and move on to the option number two so for those of you who've chosen the option number two we're about to start now I'm gonna give these cards a shuffle so I'm quickly gonna shuffle it to get rid of the energy from the first option oops a bunch of cards have fallen off we are and we're gonna give them a good shuffle and part in the background um, the foreground is actually quite nice but uh, I couldn't quite get it in the shot so you've just got a fence in the background here and the back of my car for those of you who have chosen number two okay this feels right so we have number 45 time of fellow Creative manifestation occurs more easily when I've nurtured myself and honored my time of fellow. Okay. What I'm hearing here is that for you, in order for you to actually experience the best that you can right now in this given moment, there needs to be a balance. Okay. There needs to be a balance between time that you give to yourself, time that you give to your work, time that you give to your family, time that you give to your daily rituals and routines such as taking a shower, bathing, eating, washing the dishes, cleaning up, um, those kind of things. There needs to be a good healthy balance between all of these things and in order for uh, for you to function like a good oiled uh, moto, you need to have everything in balance with each other. So if you've been uh, avoiding doing something, avoiding taking your daily jog or run or avoiding um, cleaning up the dishes or something like this. If you've been avoiding doing one aspect of things, if you know that, that filing needs to be done and it's been sitting there for the last three months and needs to be done, it's time to actually tackle those things. It's time to bring those things into balance because what this card is saying to me is that when, when everything well, actually, that's not what the card is saying to me, but what I'm getting from what I need to say to you because of this card is that once you get everything else in motion, once things are in motion in every area of your life, then you're going to find that the spontaneous, synchronicitous moments also come into, in to, come to bear. They also come into being and they are going to be offering you a lot more magic in your life it's almost like a deliverance of magic or oh, that's when the the magic happens so that that's what I'm hearing right now I'm hearing that if you oil some of the machines the more mundane things then you will find that as you go along everything else comes to it kind of sets itself in motion and things take it comes into being by itself so if you do a bit of it the rest of it will be done for you okay so um, I'm also hearing you that this is the last step on, on in your journey, right? So 
And what do I mean by that? Oh, please don't be afraid. It does not mean that you'll be dying or anything like this. What it means is that until now, you've met, you've been working quite hard at getting certain things in balance in your life. And there's just one last thing that you need to do now, or a last few things that you need to do now in order to get things to work like that well-oiled machine. And um, it's, it's not so hard to do this. And it's in fact, what I'm hearing here as well is that you will be reaping um, the fruits of what you've been doing, your, of the fruits of your labor, um, all the energy that you've put into this, all the time that you've invested, you will be actually experiencing the rewards from this. It says creative manifestation occurs more easily when I've nurtured myself and honored my time of fallow. Okay, so the other thing here is that it's important to give yourself time in order to do nothing, basically, in order to do um, not anything at all, not to worry about anything, not to do anything, not to simply time to be. Okay, so if you're going to keep your schedule busy from 6 a.m. to like 10 p.m., you're not going to, and you have something at every hour of the day, uh, you're not going to have that downtime, the downtime in which creation or creativity or where your soul can speak to you, where the unconscious or the, the subconscious can connect to the conscious world and and give you messages. You won't have time to hear the messages if you're going to keep yourself too busy. So it's important to take time to relax. It's important to take time, just time out and time to just center yourself and just to breathe and also just to do, to do nothing sometimes it's important to do nothing sometimes so um i just want to read what the book says about this because i feel like there might be something that i'm not uh, mentioning here um so those were the channel messages for you and i'm just quickly going to look at what the book says let's see it says time of fellow number 45 my times of fellow are peak periods for nurturing my soul trusting my life path the winters of my life when people projects or passion have withered away are opportunities for tapping into unseen resources within me i honor my time of fellow as a spiritual time a time to rest in the nurturing darkness it is time when the deep roots of my inner being are being nourished and replenished when i enter the fellow time i expect I'm sorry, I accept that there is no point in digging around trying to find the new buds. Fellow time calls for receptive stillness. I bring my presence to my body's inner needs. Sorry, I bring my presence to my body's needs, inner sensations and changing moods. I tune into those things that replenish, restore and nourish me. There's greater potential for creative manifestation once I've nurtured myself and honored my time of fellow. So this card, for the message talks more about being in that state where you actually are giving yourself that time to manifest or giving yourself the time to be in a spiritual state. But my, my feeling with this card is that you don't have to work so hard at that. Uh, it, it's more like you need to simply allow yourself to just give yourself that time, that downtime and then things will take itself from there, okay? So I hope that message has been useful for you, um, the time of fellow. And I'm gonna move on to the option number three. For those of you who've come by and who just want to hear a message for the week or for this time in your life, uh, I'm asking the cards, what is it that those of you who've chosen option number three need to hear right now? is it sometimes I get a really strong feeling this is the card and and in your option today I've gotten that and what do we have here let me take a look at it it's a number 13 and it says I embrace my body I honor and embrace all of my body I am receptive to her specific needs okay so let me just show you. so I embrace my body and I honor and embrace all of my body I'm receptive to her specific needs 
So these cards, this last, these last two cards and this card just feels like it's, like it's the same message to me. It's like there's this energy I'm getting of being able to really be in touch with oneself, really being able to be in touch with one's emotions and also being in touch with one's body, in touch with one's needs, in touch with what is it, what is what are those cramps telling you really? What are those those f strange sensations that you're having in your abdomen or in your chest? What are they actually speaking to you? What are they saying to you right now? Uh, is that stiffness that you're experiencing in your back or the or in your ankles? Uh, is it saying to you that you need to do something about it? Uh, are you heeding your body's call to rest more? Are you heeding your body's call to detox? Are you heeding your body's call to simply be, simply be, or to simply move? Okay. So one of the things that I, uh, that I feel uh, really call to say right now is that most of your your needs most of your your difficulties and your needs can be resolved with movement you know whether it's you wiggling your toes uh, or, or, or taking a walk or doing going on a jog or doing some kind of sports yoga Pilates anything at all um, even if you just move around your apartment or your home or in your garden uh, even if you just don't feel like getting out well and you just do something at, around the house this is going to help you okay uh, more, a lot of your needs of your body is is just to get that blood flowing into the extremities and once you've done that once you once you have the blood flowing everything can can heal I think that for some of you who have had recurrent pains that are similar it's really important for you to seek some medical attention for that okay go and have that diagnosed go don't ignore it it's important for you to do that and I sometimes give this message on the channel and it's not often that I need to give this message but I really think that there are several of you who are going to be listening to this message who really need to go to a doctor and have yourselves diagnosed because it's necessary for you to do that. For some of you who feel that you don't need that and you're not resisting that and it's something that it's not so serious, take time to nurture yourself, take time to understand, you know, be, be still with yourself and ask your body what does it need? Does it need a warm bath? Does it need a steam? Does it need to go into sauna for a while? Does it need to move? Does it need to go swimming for a while? Apologies, that's another train going by here. Um, so I apologize for the, for the background sounds. It's better than my neighbor drilling, so I uh, hope, hope you don't mind too much. Um, so yes, you know, ask your, your body, what does it need? Sometimes maybe you just need to be still and you just need to light a candle or you just need to burn an incense or you simply need to burn an aromatherapy oil and you simply need to be with your sense, you have your senses be nourished. Sometimes you may, you may feel that you need to have some more greenery around you, that you need to go to a garden shop and buy some plants for your space or for your home or even for your bathroom I'm getting. Uh, and anything from cactuses to, to herbs uh, uh, could be beneficial to those of you who feel that. Sometimes just bringing around that green makes the difference to you. Or burning some essential oils or you know nourishing your body giving it the, the moisture that it needs uh, nourishing your body by applying um, um, things to it or eating things that are organically grown and and well and, and not full of chemicals not full of preservatives um, you know not having too many poisonous uh, toxic toxic things in your in your lotions etc so heed your body's call for that you know if you are actually feeling that you've had enough and that you need to move somehow um, sometimes that movement needs to come from within you it needs to come from a space in you where you are feeling like I need to shift something inside of me whether maybe I'm going to start integrating drinking more water a day or maybe I'm going to pray over my water before I drink it maybe I'm going to infuse my water with good intentions before I drink it or maybe um, you know you you decide to to place some crystals around your water and, and and then drink it and see what that effect is but what I'm feeling here is that there's a as a need for a slight shift 
in your physical well-being and the way in which you do that is to listen very carefully to what your body is saying to you and to act upon that and that may mean once again either seeing a doctor or actually taking care of your your sensual needs yeah you have several senses are you feeding those senses perhaps your body is starving from the lack of sensual uh, food so to say uh, are you feeding yourself well are you feeding yourself wholesome meals how do you feel after you've eaten do you feel like you need to sleep do you feel like you are tired and lethargic do you feel like you need to, you're unsatisfied by your meal do you sometimes find yourself in a bad mood after you've eaten a certain type of food you know these are the questions that this type of card is asking you to ask yourself I embrace my body it's it's about also it's also saying to me that basically here there you know where have you been ignoring your body until now have you been pushing yourself too hard have you been um, have you been forcing yourself to do things that are just not within your you just don't have the capacity it's it's because it's you expected to do it that you are doing it and you know are you able to give yourself that time to actually ask yourself Am I, am I doing what's right for my body right now? Am I taking care of myself? And if so, if not, how can I take care of myself? What can I do right now to take care of myself? All right. So this is what um, what I'm hearing here with regard to you right now, and I'm very sorry about this. All these trains that are going by right now. Um, so yeah, I'm now very sweaty in my car. It's just about 19 degrees uh, Celsius outside and uh, I've worked up a sweat by doing these videos, by, do, by doing these readings. So um, I hope that those messages have been useful for you and I uh, apologize for the, uh, for the background and I hope that um, you have a wonderful week ahead. I hope that everything goes according to plan and that you feel nurtured and nourished and um, that your challenges are within your grasp and you are able to actually um, give yourself what it is that you need as you go along. All right, so blessings abound from Kisnet Rising and wishing you a wonderful week ahead. And so for those of you interested, here's where I was sitting around this parking lot and the trains were coming all over there. And this is the River Rhine in Germany and I'm in the city called Mainz just for those of you who are curious all right thanks once again and I hope you've enjoyed the video blessings abound